We're back at it with the Pokemon news, kicking it off with news of Game Freak, the developers of the Pokemon games. They have announced their next big game. Coming out worldwide on January 20th is Jockey Right On. So technically not Pokemon related, but it's Game Freak. The game is a solitaire focused horse riding game. Kind of unique, but it was a really big hit when the game first came out on the 3DS in Japan all the way back in 2013. The new version will be launching on January 20th on iOS devices. And let me know, are you going to even play this game? Did you even play the first one? Down in the comments. But maybe boot up your Switch while you're doing that because we've got some new codes for mystery gifts. There was a bit of a uh, like New Year's celebration for Scarlet and Violet, so there's a whole Twitter campaign on the Japanese side. Anyways, we're reaping the benefits. We've got two codes here on the screen somewhere. One of them is Enjoy Gourmet. I can pronounce that one no problem. The other one is Make Wa To A Machine. Maybe I'm not reading this properly. Anyway, either way, the codes, the, they expire on the 15th of January, so you got a couple days that you can go redeem them. They're gonna give you a random item between Stardust, a Star Piece, or a Comet Shard. So, nothing like too crazy, but it's free stuff, you know? You can always sell it, make some money. In card news, we're getting some new premium tournament collections. These are those like little milk, milk carton looking card things, like, like the Marnie and the Professor over there. But this time, we're getting Cyrus and Clara. You may remember Cyrus from Team Galactic and Clara from the Isle of Armor DLC from Sword and Shield. Each collection is going to run $39.99 and will come with a full art card, three hollow cards, 65 card sleeves, a deck box, large metallic coin, two condition markers, six dice, seven packs of cards, and a code card. And that will be coming out in March. Right now though, you can pick up the first Scarlet and Violet cards with the new Paldea collections. These are featuring the Paldean starters, plus the box art starters of Coridon and Maridon. Inside are only Sword and Shield era cards, but the promos are the first Scarlet and Violet promo cards, so technically they're the first Scarlet and Violet cards. There is technically six different versions of this box, so if you're like a sealed collection kind of person, you're gonna need all three starters. One, the, the jumbo card's gonna be Coridon, the other one's gonna be Maridon, so you'll need six different versions. And if you do still need to pick any of these up, I'll have links down below at various retailers so you can pick yours up. Plus, anything else I can that we talk about in this video. We also got a new knockout collection. We haven't had one of these in a minute. Honestly, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by these, but that's okay, it's promo cards. So for $9.99, you're gonna get three promo cards of Galarian Slowking, Galarian Obstagoon, and Dragapult in holographic forms. And the boxes also include some stickers, plus two packs of cards. And the first wave of Crown Tundra comes out on the 20th. Actually, just went through and made a quick little spreadsheet of the most uh, cost-efficient items that you can purchase. So I'll have that up on the screen. Basically, it's looking like the mini tins are the best bang for your buck, at least at MSRP. If you go through other retailers, you may or may not be able to get a discount on some of these boxes, obviously influencing the numbers here. But on January 20th, we're gonna be getting Regieleki and Regidrago V promo boxes. Plus, we'll be getting the ETB and the Pokemon Center ETB. So we're gonna have a lot to open here coming up real fast. But also if you're looking for cheap cards, Costco is gonna be the place to go. If you get a little bit lucky, you'll be able to find these tins for 15 bucks. That is so cheap. You're getting 10 packs of cards in there. So like $1.50 per pack, pretty good. For collectibles, we're starting to see some new Jazzwares select figures. We've got the new cave environment set that was uh, seen in the wild, but haven't seen or uh, heard anything about like the forest or undersea environments yet. These came out not too long ago on GameStop, but now we're seeing this like new like Pokemon Select version. And we also now have reports of Jazzwares coming out with more translucent figures, this time Jigglypuff. And on the side of the box, we can actually see that Snorlax and Eevee are gonna be a part of this series as well. So keep an eye out on shelves for those, as well as some new Corduroy plushies featuring Magikarp and Eevee. So let me know if you're seeing these out in the wild or not, because we gotta go hunting. And maybe you've been out hunting at Walmart and you've seen the new Squishmallows hitting Walmart. There's a lot of people scooping these up. I've seen photos of people like with literal full carts of Squishmallows checking out, like that's ridiculous. Don't be that guy, unless you're like buying them for a bunch of kids, that's pretty cool. But they're actually getting pulled off of Walmart floors now because I guess they got put out early. These aren't supposed to come out until February, so Walmart's pulling them off of the floor and just putting them in the back, it sounds like, just looking at some of the comments out on Twitter and stuff, like they're just sitting there, so. Sounds like there's gonna be a lot of these, so even though there are a lot of people out there trying to like flip them and make a buck, 
Sounds like these are actually going to be pretty widely available, and you'd love to see it as a collector, you know? Like, you can actually get something. And something that not a lot of people are going to get, only one person actually is going to get, Niantic has put out a new sweepstakes that you can get some custom Niantic Puma shoes. So in order to do that, in the month of January, you will need to have walked 150 kilometers. That's 93.2 miles for anybody in Imperial measurements. So if you walk that distance in any of Niantic's games, by January 31st, you're going to be eligible. On February 7th, they're going to do the actual drawing for the sweepstakes, and one grand prize winner is going to get these Niantic Puma shoes, which I don't think look too bad. There will be 15 other prizes, though, that go out. So for the five people who hit the second place prize, you'll be getting $100 gift cards to the Niantic Supply online store, and then 10 third place winners are going to get $25 each for the Niantic Supply store. So good luck. Get out there walking. Maybe you'll win something. Hopefully not a gift card, because I don't know what even there is to buy on the Niantic store. But, hey, you might find a t-shirt or something. Hit that like button on the way out. Subscribe if you've been watching these videos and you haven't yet. Come on, let's do this thing. Take care of each other out there, and we'll see you guys real soon on the next one.